Hey Aquarius, welcome to Love, Love, Love Tarot. Today we're delving into what to expect new in love, okay? We're also going to see the situation moving forward, what you can't see, and then advice moving forward as well. So take this how it resonates. If it resonates for you, this can play out past, present, or future, okay? This is a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Personals are available. The link for that is down below in the description box. Also, you can check out my playlist for a plethora of collective reads. I want to say thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand or the channel is greatly appreciated. It. Let's go ahead and delve into Aquarius' energy spirit. Please and thank you. Nine of Cups energy for starters. I see you're really focusing on what makes you happy, not taking the back seat to anything else. Okay, with the chariot card, I see you really um going towards these goals. I'm here an accomplishment. So you may have um some celebration to do um because of some accomplishments. Oh, I see five of pentacles energy. You could be feeling abandoned. Okay, seven of pentacles. You're being real patient, um, though. Or you're needing patience. It's like how to move forward strategically to get what you want. Death card. There's that transformation. So I see a transformation taking, with it, taking place within you um, because of the next actions that you perform. Okay, I feel like some part of you has changed. You don't do the same things you used to do in the past, right? With that Six of Cups of energy. Hmm. I feel like you're older now, wiser. In many ways, you don't do the same things you used to do. You've changed it innerly like internally with the tower card here something has changed fat oh shit ten of swords damn aquarius i'm sorry whatever happened or is about to happen is gonna shake your world up but oh it, it may have to do with like personal agreements with people maybe you're breaking up with someone maybe you are uh, damn i really see a breakup i'm not even gonna lie I see a breakup with someone. You this is somebody you really love this person. You thought y'all y'all were soulmates. Page of Pentacles. So you feel like somebody wasn't carrying their weight. Six of Swords. It's like you it's like you were looking at your worth and you're like, look. I'm not getting what I feel like I re I should be receiving in a relationship. Yeah, with the Hierophant here. I feel like spiritual lessons were learned with the Star card here. That's your energy. That's your Aquarius energy there. It's like you're really stepping into your power. Ooh, Eight of Cups energy. You're walking away from things that have emotionally drained you, like this relationship. The Sun card. You could have had a child with this person recently, um, but I'm seeing a transformation with this happiness. Maybe you tried to make something work with someone, okay? I see you moving from a water sign, maybe a Scorpio specifically, but Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and move into a fire sign, specifically a Leo, um, but we do have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I do also see water and uh, earth here, but I'm not getting that. That's a, a big factor here for some reason. 11-11 mm. card, twin flame energy. I feel like, oh, you're about to act on deep feelings that you, that you have for someone. It's someone that you're looking at from your past, though. Maybe before you had a child with this person. Mm-hmm. Wow. And there is some type of decision that you're gonna make steadily oh facing the truth here wow the truth is like literally right in your face that's what that tower was about the truth is in your face that you need to move the fuck forward all right knight of swords i feel like you express this all right through some type of message a dm text message knight of wands you're kind of in and out Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Ace of Swords. The Fool card. Wow. You feel like somebody played you for a fool here. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You missed out on an opportunity. I feel like you could have... Ugh, you may be looking at it like you chose the wrong person in the situation, but I really feel like it was just out of your hands. Like, you know, you were meant to gain the spiritual lesson and then that way you're going to go hard towards this person. Now you're not going to fumble anymore in a relationship. In new, what's new in love, what to expect new in love is you moving towards like this twin flame or this soulmate connection. I'm really say twin flame because this four of wands card came out, okay? But not only that, I'm getting the energy of you transcending obstacles and learning spiritual lessons, okay? And it's bringing you you closer to a true love now that would be symbolic of a twin flame to me moving forward we have the ace of swords oh we you and this new person is kinky with the chariot card here i feel like you're just about to go in and pursue this person and they're about to let you or they're about to meet you with just as much ferocity and passion and you see how she's groping him with that queen of pen uh, queen of cups energy i feel like this person is emotionally balanced and mature and when you come to them on this energy they're gonna match that Mm -hmm. three of pentacles i feel like the two of you all work together um very well knight of wands oh. <sighs> a lot of sexual energy between the two of you all i feel like this is somebody wait what the, what people be saying um that's gonna fuck you back so to speak <laughs> I mean, I just have to say that because that's what I see. This person wants you just as bad as you want them type of energy. Yeah, with the lover's card. Gemini energy is making a choice, a decision, okay? And I feel like the both of you are were like pulled away, um, paying attention to other things, you know? other relationships possibly but with the eight of wands here i feel like that message comes in and then you all leave off like you never left off before like you never like there was no separation with the justice card here except now the both of you all are going harder for each other almost hmm king of cups this person comes out to match your energy. So king and queen of cups. You both have a lot of love for each other, okay? This person is going to show it physically, okay? And you could show yours loyally, um, you know? Like you you perform actions that let this person feel more grounded um, with your energy and trusting of you. With the magician card here, spirit is saying you have all the tools necessary to do so as well. Ten of cups. This person is going to pursue you as well, okay? Um, but I feel like it's, it's like an equal give and take with this person. They're coming in as a feminine energy, okay? So this person will let you pursue them, okay? And then they're going to open up more and more. That's how that's going to look like, okay? Uh, letting you know, like rewarding you in a sense. Uh, letting you know that they're appreciating you. Here we have that judgment card. I do really see some type of child here between the two of you all. It's like a spirit baby. Um, Eight of Cups. Ooh. You could have slept with this person uh, one time before... Um, before you really like make it official i feel like there was like some type of pregnancy here knight of pentacles yeah takes a while for you to find out but you find out so you may be extending your family with this person okay some of you all could be blending a family with this person but i do see a child like a boy baby so what can aquarius see right now Single woman, not the committal type. I feel like you were dealing with the feminine energy that you find out is not the committal type. Okay, yeah, that it was just a sexual connection. It was just strictly sexual between you and this other person that you're leaving. I feel like you could have a child with this person. Actually, um, the person you're leaving, it was a strictly sexual connection. And you end up having a child with them, uh, so to speak. Yeah. It says someone is still caught up with the ex or needing to ex people out that are toxic. So it's like you're you're leaving an ex, okay? They know how to lift your spirit. Wow, because you're dealing with somebody that knows how to lift your spirit. Oh shit. 
someone is being set up. This person is trying to really figure out what's going on with you. Okay. They trying to figure out who's been lifting Aquarius's spirit all this time. When you know, uh, because I get an energy of you leaving someone you you were dealing with. See, someone doesn't want to be seen. See, someone is going behind the scenes, you know, looking. Maybe they don't, they're not the committal type of feminine energy, okay? Um, take it how it resonates. Yeah, with the five of wands here at the bottom deck, we even see like someone being caught up in the act in something, okay? I feel like someone is caught up here, nine of swords, Oh, so I feel like what happened here was uh, the person that you want to pursue, they could have found out that you were dealing with this past person, that you had a child with them, you know, things like that. Karma, your time has come or theirs has. So look, there was an energy here of this person dishing out something to you, like cheating on you, some type of betrayal. And then there's an energy of them... Um, trying to delve deeper to see like what's making you happy you know nowadays and then um this person essentially gets karma okay it's like they're trying to set you up to be in your business and figure out what's making you happy but i feel like you end up walking away from this person see you're planning a secret escape that's what i see in your energy perfectionist um Oh, you could be playing like everything is cool the whole time. I feel like this is how you view that person as a sexual drainage, like a lustful vampire. Okay. You're, you're playing it cool, but you're about to, um, make a U-turn. You're about to change your mind about where you want to be. Okay. I really see you going towards another energy. Um, diva and manifesting. I feel like you're really manifesting this diva, this empress energy, right? It says using the law of attraction, calling in your desires and wishes. So Aquarius, I really feel like you are manifesting this feminine energy. It could be a twin flame or just like a high level soulmate, somebody that is of significance in your life and on your soul's journey, right? The bottom deck is soulmate, divine soul connection. Like I said, I really feel like it's someone important that you're moving towards in your life okay um someone here could be struggling to find their self okay this could be you or this could be the person that you're leaving behind going towards this soulmate for yeah dangerous karmic ties i feel like there could be a little drama um but you're gonna take the risk okay uh, okay <laughs> I feel like you could have dealt with this person in the past. This is who you're leaving. You could have had a child with this person, all right? You took a risk, all right? But now you're willing to take a gamble to leave this person behind. This person is going to be very triggered by this, very temperamental, okay? So I just want you to be... Um, aware of that. Look, we have forgiveness under the soulmate energy. And we also have this person is stuck in their ways, right? There's an energy, ooh, and red flags. There's an energy of you moving towards... Um, two souls merging together. You're moving towards this person and... Oh, you can't see through a situation and someone needs to be checked. Look, Aquarius, all I have to say is, is that this promiscuous feminine energy that you were dealing with, be careful with them um, because they could be sleeping around and they could have contracted something, okay? Um, all I would say is just continue to manifest what's on your heart, okay? I feel like you're going to do that anyway. I feel like you're planning this secret escape from this past person because you know that they're kind of temperamental. And Spirit is saying that this person is definitely going to get on some BS with you. So I just want you to be mindful of that. But at the same time, I do see you manifesting this love, okay? I really see like the two of you all being in separation, like you trying to pull away from them and them trying to pull away from you. But ultimately, the two of you all are going to give in, okay? What is your advice? Give each other space. Sometimes it's hard... It's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. So take a step back to create room for authentic conversation. Perhaps you need to consult with a therapist to guide you through your emotional thicket. Or maybe you just need some new tools for healthy communication. Whatever it is, don't try to fix it right now. Give each other space. So I feel like right now you're just 
giving each other space. Um, you really need this with that X. I'm going to pull you one more card because I just feel like you need it. Um, but I do feel like what has happened is you've given this soulmate or this twin flame energy space, you, them, them, you, right? And it's really bringing the two of you all together. Whereas this past relationship, you weren't able to do so and it's driving you apart. Here we have your purpose is joy. It says your purpose has nothing to do with how you make a living. That is your vacation, mission, or inspire passion, all worthy. But your purpose is much simpler and bigger. Your purpose is joy. It's about discovering, nurturing, and celebrating who you truly are and knowing and loving yourself at, its, at the deepest level. Hmm. So your purpose is joy first and foremost. And I feel like you can't give to others what you can't give to yourself as well. It says choose love. If you're struggling with an obstacle or conflict, choose a path of love. Suffer and doubt and frustration all transform in the presence of love. So show your love courageously. Show your love openly. Show your love with no strings attached. It's safe to give and receive love. In fact, if you have a hard time with self-love, start outside yourself and work your way in. Showing love to others can be a gateway for loving yourself. Okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.